Good morning, folks. Another X-Class solar flare. Several M-Class flares were in the throes of a significant uptick in solar activity. Once again, Earth is lucky to have not seen that activity direct CMEs in our direction, but production is rising. We've got even more sunspots incoming and we'll end the show with a cool new planet discovery, but let's start with our star and find the last 24 hours produce several flashes at the incoming limb on the left, and a couple CMEs over there as well. We still do not have coronal holes and instead are staring down a train of active regions on both the north and the south. One big grouping on the south begins to depart, but it has remained pretty quiet so far while crossing through. Here's the GOES X-ray flux chart. X-class flare last night and a couple M-class flares followed in its wake. All of them were impulsive, still lacking long duration bursts. We can see what ejections were produced here in 304 angstroms, the ionized helium view. Again, it was mostly the incoming sunspot on the north and some plasma filament activity nearby that provided the CMEs. A couple sizable filaments are also beginning to depart towards the right side. And while you already may have noticed the flaring activity, here it is again in 131 angstroms. Big flashes are on the left. The X-class flare came from that northern incoming sunspot group, and the M-class flares that followed came from there and the region on the south as well, which produced the previous X-class flare. Bright saturations in the X-ray and extreme ultraviolet view. Let's take a closer look at the X-class event. We can see that following the flash there was a CME with a portion of the plasma releasing and a portion falling back down. All the CMEs over the last day were tight, and again, not directed at Earth. Let's take a quick look at the sunspots to show we'll have to be on alert for the next several days, and you may have also noticed in the earlier views that there are large umbral fields coming over the limb, so there's even more sunspots to watch for as we begin heading towards the weekend. One quick story today is that after finding three planets around TOI 700, Tess continued watching the system and has now seen a fourth planet. The two outer planets discovered in the system are in the habitable zone. They believe the newly discovered planet is 95% of Earth's size, rocky, with likely clouds, but they're concentrated on the permanent night side. They think it's tidally locked to the star with one side always facing it and the other side always facing away. We greatly appreciate your support. Watch our playlists and check out our websites, Eyes on the Sun. Everything is linked below the video in the description box for you to learn more. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.